recorded as well. So if you guys have not checked out our YouTube channel, make sure to check that out as well. We post a lot of these free webinars on there along with some other free content for all of you guys to check out. So a lot of free content out for you guys to start learning and getting introduced into the Forex market. Today's topic is going to be the difference between predicting where the market's going to go and as opposed to reacting to where the market's going to go. I want to introduce myself really quick for anybody new who's jumping on here. All right. So my name is Christian Nieves, founder of Hippet to Profit, which is a Forex education company. Um, I want to thank you guys all for jumping on. What we do is we teach people about the financial markets, specifically the Forex markets, which is the foreign exchange markets. We help people learn how to profit in the markets, how to learn about technical and fundamental analysis, which is basically understanding how prices change in these markets every single day and how you guys can capitalize that to make money from your phone, from your computer, from the comforts of your home all right so there's a lot of different things that goes into that um this is why it's so important to get involved into our community whether it's in our free community where we do these videos once every single week along with posting different updates in our free community chat which you can find a link on our instagram or facebook page or going and um actually becoming a member of our paid membership community which we'll go over at the end of this webinar i want to focus really on just helping you guys teaching you guys as much as possible i think that that's going to be very beneficial if you guys have any questions make sure to drop them in the chat box for those of you guys on facebook live make sure to drop any questions in the comment section we'll make sure to get to those as well Thank you guys so much. Let's get right into this. So this is a common misconception that a lot of people have that the better you are in the markets, the better you, you are at predicting where the market's going to go next. When in reality, all we can do is speculate on where the market will most likely go. But in reality, what we're doing is we're reacting to where price actually goes to try to find the best possible entries into the market um, with the least amount of risk as possible. A lot of times avoiding risk is is more important than being right or wrong. All right, so just to give an example, I went ahead and marked up different areas in the market where we do see important price action and important areas where markets are changing in direction. As you can see here in the markets, we see that when market came to this level right here, the price pushed up from there. We came back there and we broke through that level and what happened, we rejected there once, twice, three times and then we came a little bit higher fourth time and then dropped it down we also can see here that price is rejected there as well and previously in the past over here but just to get into the topic i did this beforehand just to, just to simplify things for you these are important areas in the market from our weekly time frame on british pound versus the us dollar um, to kind of show you guys the difference between somebody who's looking to predict where price is going next versus somebody who's reacting to price and what the different outcomes will be. So as you can see right here, price definitely fell. Now, a lot of people learn in trading that once price breaks a structure, i.e. right here, that it needs to come back and retrace to that level before continuing back down. And that is partially true. Um, the only thing that you're not taking into, into account is when is it going to do that? Because Otherwise, it's just a continuation of it just continuing to push down and continuing to push down before eventually on our longer time frame, we may eventually come back up to there. So if you guys were going into this market saying, all right, we broke to the downside. Now we need to retest this level before we enter. Well, then you guys went ahead and missed out on potentially selling in these areas right here. Let's go ahead and clear this up. In these areas right here where the market continued to drop much further. All right, so this is that's one example of where predicting the market, you didn't lose money in this case, but you missed out on making money. All right, next we go into the market and this structure was broken right here. So what are we looking for next? We're looking for price to come back and retest this level, which it does. Awesome, so this gives us nice opportunities to sell into the market. Um, and this is something that is predictable. However, we need to wait for that confirmation that we're actually coming to the downside. Now. Obviously, we're in a downtrend. So when you're in a downtrend, we see here, prices continue to making lower highs and lower lows. And we just keep dropping and consolidate a little bit here, but then we drop again and we drop again. So if we're predicting what's gonna happen next in this market, most likely we're gonna continue to the downside. But in re all reality, nobody knows where the market's gonna go to next, which is why you need to be more reactive. So once 
let's say we took our sell entries right there and started to look to sell into the market, well then we need to know when we need to get out of the market. And this doesn't go into predicting what's gonna happen in the market. This goes into reading into price and what looks like it's going to, what price is telling us what it wants to do. So when we see the price comes down back to this low and starts rejecting, well, we don't wanna continue staying in this trade because we know that price only moves in three different ways. We're either downtrending or we're consolidating. And then from consolidation, we can continue in that downtrend or change direction to an uptrend. All right, these are the three different directions of the market. All right, and you can see them on every single time frame. So when we see that and we start seeing price coming back up, well, this is price telling me that, all right, we're in a downtrend. Price is most likely gonna continue back down, but we could also consolidate for a very long time. So I don't wanna stay in this trade when it could potentially come back up or reverse on. I wanna start getting out of this trade once I see that we rejected this low again and kind of try again at a later point. And now we kind of identify, all right, well, this is a consolidation area. This is our lows and this is our highs. And as you can see right here, what do we see here? Price starts to break above this level. Now going into pre predicting into the market next. Okay, price broke that high. All right, so yeah, we should be continu continuing back in an uptrend. However, we need to get more confirmation. This could still be consolidating. We did not break the big overall trend yet. This is the downtrend, all right? Now this is consolidation here. But in order for us to consider this a change in direction, we really need to see that price is looking to break deep into this structure and start trending in an uptrend, and we don't see that yet. So this is me not predicting and not saying, all right, price is gonna come up from here. I'm gonna say, let me be patient and watch what's gonna happen next. All right, so let's go ahead and play that out and see what happens next. As we can see, now we see price clearly broke up and now we're starting to have this uptrend. All right, so now we can say price is no longer gonna continue down most likely. We're looking like we went from this nice downtrend to consolidation and now we're looking like an uptrend. Right here would have been a nice opportunity to start looking for buy entries, why? Because we see that price came back down to a previous structure and we're not just guessing that it's gonna come up from here because why we could easily break back into consolidation. If I bought as soon as price retested this level or as soon as price retested this level, I run the risk of the market going against me and going back into consolidation and me just drawing out these zones just a little bit wrong when I could have maybe considered this zone to be up here, all right? So we want to really just focus on predicting, not predicting the markets. And as you can see, we start to uptrend. This is where you can start saying, now we're clearly in an uptrend. When can I take advantage of these trades? Well, we need to mark out our levels of support and resistance and start following the markets and find out when is the best time to jump into a trade. We don't wanna to try to predict and say, all right, the market's just gonna continue shooting straight up from here. We wanna go ahead and start marking these out. So price retested here. We made a new high right here. Now, when price went ahead and broke above this zone, all right, people would say, all right, well, price is gonna retest our previous high. Because a lot of times when people are drawing their trends, you know, it's the classic, this is our high, this is a low, this is a new high, and where do we come back? We come back to this low. And this is how people show the markets anytime they draw. Very clean and very purpose perfect. But in all reality, this, the markets don't move this perfectly. The market can easily come down way further into this as long as we're not breaking below this level and continue back up from there. So we need to wait before we need to wait for the market to make that low and complete that low, which comes much deeper than the previous high. And then Let's take a zoom in on this area to see how instead of predicting that the market's gonna go up here because we retested that high, see where we can kind of react to the market to where we see, all right, price is going up, now when can I get into the market? Well, looking here, this was that push to the upside. Now we have a retracement to the downside. This is kind of like a short-term downtrend. We're still downtrending. We have a pullback to the upside. We're still downtrending. But now look what happens here. Price pushes higher than this previous low. 
And this is how instead of predicting that price is going to come here and then come up or price is going to come to our major weekly zone in this blue area that I drew before and then push up, instead of guessing that, then we're going to go and wait for that confluence to say, all right, price already did react here. It pushed higher and now we're starting an uptrend. So now we wait for that push back down because every bigger time frame uptrend that looks like this on our larger time frames has these smaller ups and downs in between that looks like this and shorter term time frame downtrends and then shorter term time frame uptrends so basically instead of saying all right price is going to do this and then do this and then come back up well i'm going to say yeah it most likely will do this but i'm going to watch this area and wait for it to stop going down or just to show you on the candles i'm going to watch this area and wait for price to stop going down instead of predicting where it's going to go down to because this could continue going down and change direction again and then i need to change my plan of attack on this i need to change from having an uptrending bias to a downtrending bias because now we're breaking below let's say this low if we broke below there and that's how you kind of be reactive to the market instead of trying to be a guru that can tell you exactly where the market's going to go every single time. We can see clearly right here, price pushes up. We retrace back down. All right. But now what do we have? We have an overall uptrend over here. We have this short term downtrend and we have confirmation that the short term downtrend ended once we got this formation right here that happened in the market this is very critical because now i'm basically getting in at the most opportune time in the market and i can manage my risk accordingly and then have this trade push me into profit and risk less than one dollar for every three dollars that i'm making so if i'm risking a hundred dollars i'm potentially making 300 plus dollars on this trade to the upside if i'm risking $500, I'm potentially making $1,500 on this trade. If you're risking $30, you're potentially making $90 on this trade. It all depends on how much money you have. But instead of doing that, instead of doing that, what a lot of people do is they try to focus on this perfect scenario world where this high was broken. So now we need to see this break and retest, and then it should continue up. And what will they do? Without any confirmation at all, they will go ahead and start buying right here and what does this cause either your stop loss to get hit for a loss or you to continue to hold a negative trade and then maybe buy in again when you start seeing that it's coming up again and buy in again and this is what a lot of new traders do and what happens is they either end up giving up because they're just so far down and they're just not even following a plan anymore and they just give up and they close the trade and then it goes in the, it goes in the direction that they thought it would or they end up in all of this drawdown or blow their accounts because they risk too much when instead we could have just been patient and waited for price to show us all right this down this short-term downtrend is over now we can follow the long-term uptrend pretty simple it's, it's kind of common sense um but a lot of people just try to focus on making the markets work the way that they want them to work making it look very perfect and clean because psychologically that's how we're designed we're designed to everything should be perfect and everything should make sense. And when it doesn't, we just, it's harder for us to comprehend. But in reality, the movements in these markets are never gonna make sense to anyone. The markets are very random. However, there's certain predictability to it when you focus on what is price doing and how can I set myself up to be in a more probable situation to win? Because price could have came up right here and then continued back to the downside and found resistance, let's say right here. I take that risk every single time I enter a trade, but it's more probable that it's gonna go up. Why? Because we ended this downtrend. This downtrend is no longer a downtrend, it's an uptrend because we pushed, broke above this high, retested and made a lower high, and now we're continuing up from there. So we have that confirmation that this is starting to push higher again, after already being in an uptrend where it was pushing higher longer term, which gives me a lot of different signals to say, hey, this looks like I have a much higher probability of being right. And that's really all we're looking for is to have that higher probability of being right and not guessing in, the, in, the, in these markets.
All right, so let's look for some more examples to where people might go ahead and try to predict in the market instead of being reactive to the market. All right, once again, this is the new higher high. We broke above it, and once again, price continues much lower before we go ahead and start seeing some price moving to the upside. Now here would have been a chance to get into the market and you would have been stuck in consolidation for a while, but overall we do continue to the upside. So overall, if we would have taken this trade right here and we saw a price start going coming up, we would have either been in a small amount of drawdown, as you can see right here, a small amount of drawdown, but not a lot compared to how much we can potentially gain on this trade, or we would have closed at break even because we noticed that it's in consolidation and we want to wait for more confirmation. Now that more confirmation comes over here when we see that this is a downtrend, this is consolidation, and then what do we see here? Price pushes up, breaks above the consolidation, and then retests and starts trending again to the upside. This is our opportunity to get in, either when we start breaking to the upside here or when we pull back right here to then continue up. So these are the types of things that we're looking for instead of trying to say, all right, well, when this zone is broken right here, now this is the zone that needs to be re retested. Yes, it does need to be retested eventually, but look, price just continued straight up to our next zone without really retesting the zone at all. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Let's zoom out a little bit. So now we can get a little bit of a bigger picture from where we're at based on where we started. We now started from all the way down over here and changed in direction from this long-term downtrend to this long-term uptrend. And like we said from over here, when we originally broke this structure right here, we were expecting a retest of this structure. Now, this is where, yes, we'll most likely retest, but maybe not right away. As you can see, we didn't. We continued down for quite a while and then changed in trend and had this long-term uptrend to where we did eventually come back into this structure right here. As you can see, price comes right back into here and starts retesting these structures that were never retested before. This gives us a signal to tell us, all right, price might start selling again. Now, does this give us um, enough information to say, all right, I'm gonna sell right here? No, because as you can see, price starts continuing to the upside again and continuing to the upside. But now when we look here, what are we seeing? Very strong pushes to the downside in the market. And this is when we can start saying, all right, we had on the bigger picture, a big push to the downside, a slow push all the way back up. And now what is happening? Price failed to make a higher push than this high. So this is a lower high. And we can potentially see price continue back down from here. So now all we got to do is now wait for a retracement. Because any trader, you don't want to enter when the market is pushing down like this. Because when the market's already pushing down, you run the risk of being at the end of the move. And basically the market dropping like let's say here and then continuing right back up or even on the upside you see it start pushing up start pushing up we break above this high and you enter buys thinking it's going to go all the way up to the zone well now you run the risk of price coming all the way back down and where did you enter you entered when we broke the structure why because you were saying all right well price broke the structure so now we should come all the way back up and we shouldn't go lower than this high. And when in fact, what happens? We do go lower than that high and your stop loss ends up getting hit and you lose money unnecessarily. So you don't wanna to, want to take a trade in the middle of a push to the downside. Instead, you wanna wait for these retracements that we start seeing. So where do we see retracements in the market? Well, right here. And do we have a structure that gives us a confirmation? Yes. So we have this structure right here where price slowed down and stopped moving. And now we have, like we said before, we have that uptrend that retested that long-term area over here from that price action over to the left um, that we were looking for it to eventually retest to end up for back another long-term movement to the downside. What do we also have? We have a big push to the downside. And once again, predicting into the market, this is where you can get messed up a lot. 
instead of looking for sells right here, you could look and say, hey, this is support. Price is pushing up from here. I should look to buy all the way back up here against this downtrend and look for it to come back up because it has to retest this zone. Yes, it has to retest that zone, but does it have to retest it right now? No, it doesn't. We're overall in a downtrending market. We're still failed to break above this level. So when we start seeing price come down and then pull back right here, this is this candle right here is where we start looking to take our sales. Why? Because we could have ended up taking buys if we saw price start breaking above these structures and creating a short term uptrend to come back and retest, but we didn't. Instead, we came to the downside. This is being reactive to the market instead of predicting and saying, all right, well, I know how the market's supposed to move. We had this push to the downside. Now we should have a retracement to the upside and then we'll continue back down. It sounds great in a perfect world, but it doesn't play out like that all the time. We need to kind of adapt to what the market gives us. And as you can see, we continue back to the downside for a, quite a while after that. All right. So this is basically what we're talking about, about not being predictive in the market. And instead of just, instead of doing that, react to what's happening. Another example is right here. This is structure right here. So price retested this zone, yes, and we started to see rejection. However, let's look at the shorter term movements. Let's look at what's happening in the market right here. We have that downtrend. We're hoping that that downtrend continues. So we're hoping that price goes ahead and retest this level right here and then just drops. But we can't ignore the fact that this is an uptrend right here. And until price breaks that uptrend, we're still continuing in an uptrend. And price does what? It continues all the way back up before then starting a downtrend. We look for a retracement once that downtrend is started. And now we can look for those entries because now this uptrend is over we can see that this was the uptrend, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, big push up. Did we make a higher, higher here? No, we didn't. So this is when we can look to sell either here or you wait for this big structure to get broken right here. And then we wait for the retracement and for price to come back down again. Now we have not just one example of price not making a higher high, but two, three times that price went ahead and failed to break above this high. We already have a, have a longer term downtrend. So now we're adding more and more and more and more reasons to why we can go ahead and sell into this market and look to continue selling. And as you can see what happens next as price comes back down to this previous low and then continues back down even further. This is what we're looking for constantly in the markets over and over and over again, but we don't want to get too, strict into trying to make the market conform to the way we want it to because if i went ahead and sent a picture of the market looking like this to a lot of people and then let's show the next candle oh wish it would have paused earlier there we go Let's go ahead and re replay that. All right. So, one more time, just to go ahead and prove, just to explain this point right here. Perfect. If I was to go ahead and show this, a lot of people are going to say, all right, it's going to continue back down. Why? Because we have a downtrend. You can see clearly, even when we zoom out, that we have a big downtrend and we retested that structure. It looks great. Everything looks perfect, but the market doesn't work out perfectly. And as soon as you start seeing, all right, price failed to break below this. So we're still in an uptrend. We still need to be careful of this market and wait for more confirmations. And what happens? Price breaks to the upside. Well, now I'm no longer looking to sell right here. Now I'm looking for the next structure. And I'm saying, all right, price didn't sell there. We're still in an uptrend. Let's see where price goes. All right, now what are we seeing? price rejected all the way up here instead. And what do we get? One rejection, a lower high, and now we're pushing lower and breaking below the structures. 
So we go ahead and we, let's say we sell here. Not the most perfect entry, but all we need is a good risk to reward ratio, two to one. And as you can see, we get that right there. This is all we need to do in the market over and over and over again, is instead of predicting in the markets, we need to go ahead and watch and wait for the market to come to us and show us that a trend is ending and either the long-term trend is continuing and the short-term trend is over, or the long-term trend is ending and we're starting a new trend. Those are the main things that we're focusing on in the market. All right, so this is everything that I had as far as the lesson part of this webinar. I wanted to go ahead and open the floor for any questions at all. We see that we got some people on our live feed. Thank you guys all for jumping on on Facebook Live. Thank you guys for jumping on the webinar. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the chat box so that we can go over this. Um, whether this is something that you wanted to talk about with what we went over in this session or whether it's something you want to go over a certain pair on what's currently happening the market's just opened so any questions that you guys have at all whether it's about our program about a certain pair a certain price action a certain a certain indicator whatever you think we'll go over it just drop it in the chat box um, also we have an offer that's going on right now um, for the next 24 hours all you need to do is if you're interested in joining our free Forex, our Forex community, not the free community, the free community, you can go ahead, go to our Instagram page over here and just click right here, TM me slash pivot to profit signals, and it will redirect you to our Telegram group channel. You can get access to these free webinars every single week, get access to a bunch of free educational content, and it'll give you all information to get to our website, to get to our, our Facebook page, our podcast, all of that. But if you want to get part of our actual program, um, we're giving away two weeks for free to the first five people that go ahead and drop their phone numbers into the chat box. And then we'll go ahead, reach out to you. They'll get a free 15 minute consultations call where we go ahead, show you guys how everything works, get you started into the program for two weeks for free before you decide whether you want to continue with us or not. If that's something that you're interested to do and try out our program, which has access to over five hours of free education or five hours of education through our academy. Um, you also have our signals page. You have our, our market outlook showing us, showing you exactly what myself and the other professional traders that work on my team are looking for in the markets along with live webinars every single week, three to five webinars every single week, doing live New York session trading, doing more training and educational content to keep you guys up to date on what's going on in the markets now and how to improve your skill set. If that's something that you guys are interested in doing, then go ahead, drop your phone number into the chat box. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, send me a direct message on Telegram, drop um, with your phone number so that I can give you a call and we'll go ahead and get you started with two weeks of free membership. I see that we don't have many questions in the chat box this week. I really hope that that means that all of this training was super clear for you guys and super helpful. So since we were going over GBP USD this whole time, let's go ahead and just give you guys a free nugget on what's going on with GBP USD right now. It's actually on my watch list right now, as you can see. And basically what I'm looking for in this market is when we have uh, go out to the weekly time frame. we can see that price came down to this monthly low area. Since then, we've had not one, but two rejections showing that this longer term downtrend is ending. Now we had a break above in structure about a month ago, about September 16th, All right? We broke above that, that, that yellow structure that we have, and then we started con to consolidate and downtrended for a while. From here, we're seeing a nice retest of this zone. And as we keep breaking it down on lower and lower timeframes, what are we seeing? We're seeing that that uptrend was happening, which is part of this longer term new uptrend. We had this shorter term, lower time frame downtrend. Now we have consolidation, a higher high, and a higher low. So I'm looking to potentially long into this market. I don't I don't usually trade on Sundays, so I'm waiting for more confirmations, waiting for New York session to come come tomorrow morning and see how price moves over London session. But overall, my bias on GBPUSD this week is long. This is a free, just hopefully this helps you guys throughout this week. 
Um, this is something that I have already went over with my students yesterday um, on one of our webinars. So we went detailed into my full watch list on all the pairs that I'm looking at, all the different trades that I potentially am looking to take this week. But here's just one free for you guys. I'm looking for this to break the new highs above 1.25 and potentially push all the way up to 1.275. So this is a trade that you guys can potentially take at your own risk. I would do your own analysis, see if it matches your trading plan. And then if it does, you can go ahead and potentially make money with us this week for absolutely free. Thank you guys so much for jumping on. Really hope that some of you guys take advantage of that free offer. If you're on Facebook Live as well, and you want to take advantage of this offer, the first five people that message me on Telegram, Instagram, Facebook, somewhere, and direct message me with their phone number so that we can get on a phone call, we'll get two weeks free access to our membership before you go ahead and decide to get started. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your Sunday nights to jump on this call with me. I really hope to see you guys next week on this call and for some of you um, in our program to be able to work with you guys every single day. Have a great week and good luck with your trading.